Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another video on the Equifax data breach and I'm expecting this video about 5-6 minutes long. If you have been watching my channel, you know that I posted a video about 2 days ago mentioning what to do right away after the Equifax data breach because I'm one of the customers whose information was leaked and 3 of my credit cards were hacked. And I described or I mentioned about uh, that in the other video and you can watch that other video which i'll provide link in the description box below today i'll go further and describe what to do beyond that uh, the other video i just published equifax is a company that is full of deception and lies the news broke out that just before the data breach release their executives were busy selling their stocks and making millions of dollars and they're offering some sort of help but the help is full of lies because if you want to get help from them for example credit monitoring then you're gonna to have to sign up for their program and eventually you're gonna to have to pay them and then you're gonna to have to consent uh, to a clause that makes you not to sue Equifax credit company and after that they, they don't even provide any sort of credit fixing or credit repairing program so it's just a credit monitoring program which you can sign up but then you have to give into their terms and conditions and you'll not be able to sue them in the future i have heard news that uh, there are people trying to contact them and uh, their reps are hanging up on those who are calling them and they're, they're just giving them false news and not telling you the truth even when you call them they'll not provide you accurate information they'll not tell you exactly what type of information leaked for your files they'll just give you a very vague information and it's not going to help you anyway in my last video i mentioned that you should check your uh, statements or credit card transactions and call your banks or credit card companies right away and today i'll describe you what to do beyond that after publishing my last video if you checked your credit card transactions or bank transactions and found out that uh, you didn't have fraudulent charges or anything that doesn't mean that that's the end of the story this type of data breach can take long time uh, to come into effect for example lots of credit card information will be on the cyber black market for sale for a long time to come so what I believe you should do is that keep an eye on your credit cards and bank statements and transactions and if you see any unusual activities then stop them right away something else you can do which is uh, set up credit alert or any kind of alert which is available these are usually free so for example if someone is trying to change your address or submitting a credit application or if there is a tr transaction or anything to set up alert for that and anytime that happens you'll be notified via email text or other means so that way you will know that someone is trying to apply for credit cards or changing your address or trying to do fraudulent activities on your cards another thing you can do you can put a credit monitoring on your credit files however i do not recommend taking this uh, offer from equifax there are other credit rating agencies or other companies who offer the same services and you may have to pay a little however if you are not comfortable with all these data breach then you can definitely accept that service to monitor your credit files so these are the steps you can take to safeguard your information for example setting up credit card alert setting up monitoring services and keep checking your accounts and uh, statements and if nothing happened to you this time it doesn't mean that you're totally safe uh, this kind of data breach can take a long time to come into action uh, because uh, the credit card information will be available on the black cyber market for a long time to come now 
in case you're wondering uh, whether I'm going to be setting up a credit monitoring alert or anything on my credit files and the answer is no I'll not be doing those what I'm doing is that I'm setting up credit alerts on all my credit cards and bank accounts and I'll be checking uh, transactions and statements and then I'll just keep an eye on everything to make sure that nobody is using my address or social insurance number or my credit cards or anything watching this video if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing i'll have more videos of this nature so please subscribe and i'll see you shortly thank you